Hi everybody and welcome to the Knitting Game and Other Stuff. I'm your host Leslie and uh, I've noticed pixie knits uh, just about everywhere else I guess. I'm coming to you from my home studio today. Uh, the husband didn't have banjo practice so I didn't have to go to the guild studio so I'm in my home studio and that's where I kind of record sometimes and I do my thing. Uh, I might do a quick wrap up towards the end because um, it's kind of messy. I'm still trying to rearrange things and get it just right. So um, let's see. I'm wearing, what am I wearing? I thought I would just put it on. This is my clap back or back clap or calapacatus, whatever you want to call it, that I did in the Freya yarn. So it's the orange to the purple magenta and then back again. And I showed this last week because I had finished it. But I have the ends woven in, all nice. And I didn't exactly block it. Uh, what I did do is I took a leap of faith and I put it into my washing machine on the wool setting and just prayed for an hour because I have a front loader. And it took an hour for the wool cycle. And I prayed. And I watched and I prayed and I just really hoped because this yarn was like felting because I was working with it. So I was a little worried, but it turned out wonderful. I used some soak on it and it came out just fine. And I hung it over um, a drying rack and it took like no time at all to dry. And I'm looking, I'm not really sure of where everything is right now because it's all in a state of flux. So I was only going to show two things today. And um, yeah. Please forgive me. I'm a little nuts tonight. So the first thing I was going to show you is the only thing I've really worked on this week has been my sock. And I was going to stop working at this blue stripe here but I decided you know what because if you look it hangs down a little bit so you know I guess the rule of thumb is to kind of keep the foot of the sock at the same length as the cuff um I tried it on today and I thought you know what I kind of like the idea of having a little bit of longer cuff so I'm gonna kind of try it on in stages and my hope is to get to another repeat of the dark blue down here where I haven't gotten yet. So this is the um, Patton Croy sock and I had started off with a little bit of patterning on the toe and I just wanted to try something out and I didn't really like it so I stopped doing it and the next sock it won't have it on there because you know what they're my socks but that's how the like the little lace patterning came out and I wasn't too mm, thrilled. So, but I'm doing these on size one and a half uh, US Chagu red lace needles, two at a time. So that's coming along swimmingly. That's what I've been working on in the train because I only get to knit on the train now, or I guess I can knit at home, but it's hard to knit with the puppy girls. So in case you didn't know, we got puppies back in August. And the puppy girls like to play and hang out. And they're only about four months old. So they're little puppy girls. And when I'm knitting, if they jump up on my lap, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, oh, pandemonium, can't have that. So I don't knit at home. I weave at home and I have yet to spin in front of them yet. So we'll see how that goes. Because I haven't done that yet. But speaking of weaving, um, I went to... AC more this weekend because I wanted to pick up materials to make myself a warping trapeze, which is this contraption that fits on the front of a loom that helps you warp the loom. Yada, yada, yada. Basically, it gets my strings on my loom with an even tension with me doing it by myself and not having to ask for help, which is good because as much as, you know, mix, you know, the dear husband, Mr. Pixie would like to help. I'm sure he's, you know, pretty glad that I don't ask him all the time. So that being said, I wanted to make a warping trapeze. So I went out 
to go procure the materials to do so. And um, cotton's expensive, yarn is expensive. Needing enough yarn to do a set of towels is really expensive. And I have this like grand plan. So I had this grand plan. So I was trying to figure out how to do some weaving for folks. And I just happened across a cone of yarn. So this is the sugar and cream and it's called the autumn leaves. And then if you can see, it has that yellow and the green and kind of like the maroony color of the leaves. So instead of knitting or crocheting some hand towels, I am going to uh, use this and do um, some hand towels and see how that works. I'm very excited. I also have a big skein of just white and my son wants me to weave him towels for his weightlifting class. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we'll see how that goes. So the first project that I try out on my new loom is going to be some towels that I weave for my boy. Because I haven't knit him anything. He didn't want anything. So Alrighty, everybody, that's all I've got. It's a really quick week. Um, next week, I don't think I'm going to record on Monday because it's going to be the Spinner Study Group. I was supposed to have it tonight. Forgot that it was tonight. Uh, Google reminded me it was tonight, and I was like, oh. Uh, but the husband didn't have banjo, so I wasn't going downtown, so it just didn't really work out. So postponed it for a week. Oh, well.